All right, so some people like to claim that game development has gotten progressively harder, or it's just harder now than it was back then. And none other than Unishek, community manager at 343 Industries, he tweeted out a list of reasons why game development is harder in the modern era. Now, I want to be very fair to Unishek here. Some people are taking his tweet and interpreting it as him making excuses uh, for the state that Halo Infinite is in. And, you know, maybe he does feel that these reasons, th these are reasons that justify uh, the, the way Halo Infinite launched. Maybe. But it's just that he didn't explicitly say that in this tweet. This could just be things that he feels are harder in game development now than back then. So I'm, I just want to be completely fair about that. And I'm not going to assume, I don't like when people assume about me, I'm not going to do it about others. I'm not going to assume that Unishak feels that these reasons justify the way Halo Infinite launched, or these are the reasons why Halo Infinite is a disaster. Because again, he did not explicitly say that. It could have been what he was thinking. It might be what he means, but it could also just, this could also just be a list of things he feels are uh, more difficult now in the video game industry than they were back then. But that being said, there were people who replied to this tweet from Unishek who actually, who, who felt like this was, these were good reasons to justify the disastrous state of Halo Infinite. That there was actually people who thought that this actually justified that. That this warrant, this is this is a good explana explanation for why Halo Infinite is a disaster. Listen, this list of things that may or may not be harder with game development now, this doesn't even come close. It doesn't even come close to justifying the state of Halo Infinite at launch, and even now, like not not even close. People are like pointing to this tweet, like "Aha, see, he there there is a good reason that Halo Infinite sucks." It do, this doesn't even come close. If you think this is a good, these are good reasons for why Halo Infinite is the way it is, you need to like reevaluate like everything, <laughs> like because that is super embarrassing. Again, I'm not saying that Unishek was making excuses here. Not making that assumption, but I'm just responding to some of these people who interpreted the tweet that way and actually thought that these were like valid excuses. These were good reasons to justify Halo Infinite launching with bugs uh, and, and a, a lack of content and missing features and modes that were in decade old Halo games. But it doesn't even come close to justifying that. So now let's take a look at Unishek's tweet here. He quote, he quote tweeted Forge Labs because Forge Labs asked the question, why do modern games take significantly longer to develop, but feel like they have significantly less content than previous generations of games? So Unishek quote tweeted that and he said, well, he quoted, why is it harder to make games these days? And Unishek said, too long didn't read. The expectations and legal requirements for games has increased. A helpful list of examples below. And so here are the examples he provided. As those expectations slash requirements increase, so does the complexity of the systems that support achieving them. Increased visual fidelity, AK, AK plus asset creation, ultra wide, RTX, etc. Improved online experience, dedicated servers, online security, etc. A building for more platforms, additional builds, infrastructure, game security, etc. Better support of the game's ecosystem, crossplay, cross progression, etc. Faster cadence of updates, balance changes, hot fixes, etc. New laws, new laws and regulations which change all the time across various countries, privacy, acceptable content, etc. New tools need to be made to support all this additional work. New processes need to be created to ensure these intricate new additions are executed on properly. More people are needed to support this additional complexity across content creation tools and processes. He then went on to say each one of those bullets alone is a massive leap from previous generations to modern games. And many games are expected to do all of this and more at the same time. This is just starting to scratch the surface, but I hope it helps those who were genuinely 
curious. All right, so there you have it. That was Unishek's tweet, and those were the examples he provided. Okay, so again, like I already mentioned, this does not validate Halo Infinite launching in the disastrous state that it did, despite it being in development for six years, or at least 343 had six years. Some people say, oh, it wasn't in development for six years. They had six years. I don't, I would, however you want to frame it, they had six years. And it is not, I mean, it, th these reasons do not justify that game launching the way it did, missing a ton of features and modes from decade-old Halo games. In some cases, two, decade, uh, t two decades old, Halo 1 is. And Infinite didn't even have co-op, has a bunch of issues. Yeah, these, these reasons don't justify that at all. And also, like I said, Unishek, he could just be saying that these are things that are are harder in game development now than before, not necessarily attribute, attributing these things to Infinite, but, you know, maybe he is. Again, not going to assume there, but there were people in the comments who interpreted that way and actually think this was like a legit excuse, but it's not. And I'm gonna we're going to go through some of these things on this list right now. But first, let me say this. You know, just forget about Infinite for a second. And, you know, just pertaining to, you know, game development, modern game development, you know, in general now, you know, some of these things on this list, I don't necessarily think are harder or more complicated now. Um, he mentioned 8K, you know, asset creation and ultra wide RTX. But we got to remember, like, technology has evolved too there's there's been technological advances to you know to make these things easier more efficient um you know like i'm i record youtube videos right recording in hd back in 2007 I, that that wasn't easy for me right they, i couldn't do that but because of technological advances now it's easy N not i'm not I'm not comparing game development to recording a video, okay? I'm just pointing out that how, hey, this I, this was difficult back then, but now it's easier because of new technology. Now, like, if we're talking about 8K asset creation, uh, ultra-wide RTX, all these other things, if we're talking about all that in 2004, well, th well then, yeah, that's, that's definitely harder. But we're talking about it now, in like in, in the modern era where we have new technology and also just because some things may be harder in game development now just because there are some new expectations and requirements that doesn't mean that it's game development is harder in general like there could be some things that are more difficult now but other things that are way more efficient and easier to, to accomplish in, in modern gaming, modern game development. So just because some things are harder does not mean it's harder altogether. Also, this is like a list of like, ex he lists off some expectations here, expectations in games nowadays. Uh, well, if we <laughs> if we think about Halo Infinite, um, there's, there's a lot of expectations that that game did not meet. Um, plenty of. Plenty of expectations. Again, I'm not saying he was making excuses for Halo Infinite's launch in this tweet, but some people interpret it that way. Yeah, the, so like, yeah, if we're talking about expectations, I mean, like, that, that just means nothing to me because Infinite, like, didn't, di it didn't meet a lot of expectations. But you know, you know what Halo Infinite did do? It did, uh, it did live service. It, it's free to play. It's open world. It's, um, we have multiplayer bots. Those are all things that are not Halo expectations. That they're they're not. I mean, you could argue, you know, live service or free to play is something people wanted, but still, it, it, Halo has never had that. So that is not an expectation of Halo. And it seems like something things like the open world, the multiplayer bots. It seems like that. It seems like that took up a lot of time and resources. And again, those are not expectations in a Halo game. You know what are expectations in a Halo game? Co-op and Forge and a progression system and, you know, theater mode actually fucking working and, uh, you know, the, you know, the UI, um, UI loading, you know, that that's kind of an expectation, you know, 
You know? No, you don't know? I, I, I guess they don't know. So a lot of the expectations people have with Halo are things that were being done decades ago, from 2001 to 2010. That, that's, that's a lot of the expect expectations people have with Halo. We're not, we're talk, we're not talking about new expect, these new ambitious expectations. We want to, we want to, like a, a 2,000 man battle royale in Halo. On the biggest map we've ever seen in gaming. That, that, we're, we're not, we're not talking about it, we're, expectations like that. We're talking about, you know, like, co-op at launch, you know, from like 2001. Okay. So Halo Infinite being a disaster has nothing to do with people having these big expectations for the game and 343 not being able to meet those expectations. No, 343 just makes terrible decisions, they're incompetent as fuck, and they couldn't even fulfill expectations from decade-old Halo games, okay? That's, that's what it is. Bad decision-making and incompetence. Now, another thing I want to point out is that 343... They struggle with things that other modern game developers do not, all right? Like, um, you know, like the UI not loading sometimes. That happened to me multiple times when I did play Halo Infinite. Can't, can't say I've, I've really had that issue on any other game. The UI not loading. <laughs> what? And it just seems like that gets ignored. That we should be getting daily updates on the progress of that. Like, what what are we... I mean, it should have been fixed by now. It shouldn't even have launched with those issues. The UI not loading. Are you fucking kidding me? So I want that to be clear. 343 three struggles with things. Other game developers don't. Like, like, it's not just like, oh, modern gaming is harder for this reason. And now all these modern games suffer from these issues. No, there's a lot of things that... There's a lot of things that are just exclusive to Halo. Because 343 has no idea what they're doing. Now, another thing to keep in mind when we're talking about if game development is harder now it is the, it also matters how ambitious the game is, right? That's a factor as well. Like, if we're trying to do a, a 5,000 man battle royale on the biggest map we've ever seen in gaming, yeah, that's, that's really ambitious. Yeah, I could see that being harder than some simple older games okay I, I can totally see that but again in the case of halo people are asking for things that were done decades ago in some cases 2001 and we cannot accomplish these things in 2022 i mean it takes it, it, it's it, it takes an enormous amount of gaslighting and mental gymnastics if if you're trying to convince people that Things that were accomplished in gaming decades ago is harder to accomplish now. Like that, that is, <laughs> I don't even know how you can even argue that. Now, one of the bullet points Unishek mentioned was uh, new laws and regulations, which change all the time across various countries, uh, privacy, accept acceptable content, etc. Well, first off, I would like to know specifically what, what laws, regulations are we talking about here? What, 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 what specifically? Uh, acceptable content, okay? What, what, what in um, Halo 2 or Halo 3 or wh whatever old Halo game you, you want to you wanna point to? What in those games is no longer acceptable? Like that, that's what I want to know. Again, again, I know, I know, I know. I'm not saying Unishek was talking about Halo here. I'm not making that assumption. I'm going to be, I want that to be abundantly clear. But yeah, the people that are attributing this stuff to Halo, what, what content, what content is no longer acceptable? That's what I want to know. And Unishek also provided the examples of how you have to develop this game for to work on multiple platforms and also cross play and cross progression. And I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Like that stuff. Yeah, you don't you don't have to really worry about that back in the day, and you do now. I I get that. Okay, so the, the, that's extra work that has to be done now. Sure, but again, that does not mean game development in general is just harder now. Again, there are some things that have gotten easier with the technological advances. There, are, there. It also matters how ambitious your game is. In the case of Halo, again, people are asking for things that were done way back in the day. That should be able to be accomplished now. Now, another thing I want to point out, and I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but uh, we'll do it now. <clears throat> so this idea that game development has, um, has gotten harder as time went on. 
Um, Bungie. Bungie released Halo 1, 2001. Halo 2, 2004. Halo 3, 2007. And Halo Reach in 2010. So, 2001, or actually 1997, or whenever they began development on, um, on Halo CE. From that time to 2010... Okay, that's 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 a lot of years. That's a decade, right? Which um which Halo games were like launching with like less content and and less features and and were more broken, you know, because game development got harder, right? So surely, surely Halo Reach had a ton of issues and lo and launched with a lot less content than a game like Halo, Halo One, right? Because game development got harder. Oh, wait, oh, no, oh, oh, game development only got harder after 343 took over Halo. Oh, okay, of, co of course, right? Of course, oh, th I should have known. I, I swear, that's that's how this narrative is going to change now. It's going to change. It's going to be, oh, no, ba back before 2010, it was easy. It, was, it wasn't until, like, um... Uh, when did when did 343 get Halo? Um, oh, oh, yeah, that date. That date, yeah, that's when game development got harder. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it really is beyond pathetic that people are actually trying to convince themselves and others that developing a decade-old Halo game or a, a decade-old game today is harder because game development is harder now. Like, no, no, no. What about a game like Halo 1, 2, 3, Reach, pick one? What about that game is harder to develop today than it was back then? Right, like, I mean, I'm talking if you're creating, like, the same exact game, right? What what about that is harder to do today? And, yeah, I understand people would expect higher resolution, higher frame rate. But, again, that's one of those things where it's, like, because the tech has evolved, that is easier now. That's easier than doing, uh, creating a 60 frame per second Halo 3 back in tw 2007. Like, that should be easier to do now in 2022. So to those of you who actually believe creating some of these older games in the modern day is actually harder now, what things in particular, what things in particular about the older Halo games would be harder to develop now and why? That, that's, that's my question. Again, this is not an expectation thing. This is not people having these unrealistic, huge, ambitious expectations and 343 not being able to meet those expectations. These are people expecting things from decade-old Halo games. When Bungie was developing Halo, 2001 to 2010, their, each of their Halo games were launching with, with more content. More. Like, up to reach. They got more features, more content. 343 had six years to create Halo Infinite, and it has issues that I've, I've never seen in any other games, and it is missing a ton of content that was in decade old Halo games. Like th this is not a case of modern gaming is or modern game development is just harder now. No, this is a case of three of incompetence, garbage decision making, and I guess Microsoft tolerating dog shit. Like why do we tolerate garbage products now? That's what I don't get. How 343 I mean th this is another video, but like 343 they need to go, man. They, they really need to go. They do they do not deserve any more chances, any more time. They need to go. Microsoft needs to realize how profitable a game like Halo 3 or Halo could actually be. A franchise like Halo. It could be doing so much better, generating much more revenue than it is. Like it, 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 it's it's right there. You you just you just gotta get it out of three for three's hands. Well, well, at least that's the first step. I'm not saying I'm not guaranteeing things would improve if you did pull Halo from 343 and you gave it to someone else. But I mean, that's that's got to be the first step. And shit, even if nobody else, even if we're just done, Halo's just done. No more Halo development. I, I yeah, I'd prefer that. I would prefer that than what we have right now. And to those of you who say, you know, 343, they don't need to go. They just, they, they just, there needs to be a restructuring of 343. Okay, yeah, maybe that'll help. But even just having, even just having the name 343 associated with your game, with your product, 
is just damaging at this point. It is really damaging because so many people are aware of how incompetent 343 is. So that's going to do it for this one. Uh, if there, if there's anything, if there's anything at all that has gotten harder about developing Halo in the modern era, it's that we have a incompetent studio at the helm. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what's harder now is that we have a brain dead studio that has no idea what they're doing, trying to create a Halo game. Like that, that's, that's the real problem. That's where the focus needs to be. I'm going to say it one more time. I'm not saying Unishek was making excuses in this tweet for um, Infinite launching the way it did. But maybe he honestly believes. Maybe maybe he does. Maybe he does believe that these these reasons, you know, warrant a dog shit release like Halo Infinite. But it doesn't because of reasons I've already explained in this video. And, you know, another reason I say I am not convinced 343 understands how bad of a job they've done here uh, is because I, I you know I see stuff like this I do see stuff like this from from various different 343 employees or ex-employees about you know game certain things and about game development being harder now and and I just see a lack of recognition of how bad of a job they've done like I, I don't I don't really see a ton of that from 343 I, I don't like, I, I, I still think 343 has yet to recognize that th this is completely unacceptable and the state of Halo Infinite, even right now, at launch and right now, is beyond horrible. But it just seems like they just kind of ignore it, like it's, like the game's not in a horrible state, but, but, it, but it literally is. Like, there are times where the UI just doesn't load, right? Like, that, that's been a problem multiple pe people had. Uh, I, I can't, I, when I did play the game, I, I couldn't watch two theater films without quitting the game and relaunching it even after season two and, and theater mode is like completely broken anyways. And then there's no progression system. And then the ranking system sucks. And then I could like never find matchmaking games playing with friends in a party. Cause like their MMR was too high or something. And then like, there's no forge and there's still no co-op and, and we're missing game modes we were missing king of the hill and then we get king of the hill and it's not even like og king of the hill at least not a matchmaking and and the customization has issues and 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 i mean the list just goes on and on like th this this is not like w people need to stop treating this game like like just a game with issues no no <laughs> uh, like i'd i'd expect more out of a out of an alpha build of a game than, than what the current state of Halo Infinite is. It's absolutely pathetic. Anyways, that's going to do it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.